Flung O'Keefe and I'm fishing the Golden River uh, in Shepparton. It's about two hours drive from Melbourne and uh, it's a, a beautiful morning. I, I must admit I, I love this time of day when uh, when I go fishing it's always that uh, arriving listening to the birds that um, that fresh air in the morning although <laughs> a bit of traffic so maybe the air is not quite as fresh as it could be but that crisp air and the, the sounds, the activity of all the animals, because being early, of course, things are things are moving. And um, I've looked at the water here. I've been, I've moved around a couple of areas, and um, this spot looks good. I'm going to fish into a, a slow-moving part of the river. The river's probably at about, I don't know, probably about three quarters of its uh, standard level uh, during irrigation times, and uh, the water's not moving too fast, which is good. So it's a bit easier to to fish. So um, today I'm using um, a couple of my bass red fishing rods, and these rods uh, they're just a, a they're a stiff graphite rod, and I really like these because you can do a couple of things. One is you can do the uh, you can you can spin with them, spin fish, but also um, they're really good in touch fishing, which I do quite a bit, um, especially when the fish are very when there's there's lots of little fish around. Um, you can actually you know you you sort of you hold the rod quite lightly and you feel everything coming through the tip to your hand. So I'll be using two of these today, but I'm geared up for this area. There's a lot of snags in here. So I'm using, I'm using um, two of the Bass Red rods. They come with two top sections each. So each rod comes with a, a different top, with two top sections. One's for medium fishing and one's for medium heavy. Uh, the great thing about that is you can go uh, lighter or heavier depending on conditions. So I've got one with seven kilo line and I've got one with nearly nine kilo line. And that's because there are some very big fish in here, a lot of big carp, uh, but there's also, there's cod, there's a lot of Australian natives actually, and there's a lot of snags. So you've got to be able to get in there and get them out as quickly as you can. You've got to be able to control them. So it's only that heavy, um, the heavy line that will do that. Heavy line unfortunately does wreck your presentation a bit. I mean, it, it sometimes the heavy line doesn't make bait look quite as natural as it could. Lighter line will do that. But uh, the sacrifice is if you go with too light a line, which I have in the past, um, fish break off. So I want to see if I can get something today. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. And I'm going to get a couple of baits out, get my burly going, and, um, and see if we can pull in a few fish. Okay, well, oh, first, uh, First fish of the session is a, um, a little um, silver perch and uh, straight to the worms which I was using today and look I just put the burly into a single spot there and uh, and he hits straight away so that look they respond to the burly I'm using my bite hard burly which um, doesn't have any food in it but has a lot of attractiveness and then of course uh, getting it to the right spot really helps so hopefully I'll put this guy back hopefully we'll get some more a bit bigger than this but I'll tell you what they do fight very well for their size and it's gone out into the center of the stream here and there's so many there are so many snags about I'm just going to try and keep this in control coming back where he's come back he's coming up towards me oh he's a fair way out and there's some big snags over there so I've got to really bully this one in put the drag on hard wow he's moving around a bit Oh no, there's a snag over here, see if I can get him back. Uh, uh, where is he? I still got him on there and I don't think he's got into those snags yet. He's going to catch on my other rod. Yep, he's on my other rod. Oops, got him in here. And here it is, it's a carp. Okay. Wow, okay. Whoa, boy. See, that didn't take that long. Anyway, so, there he goes. Get my net. <coughs> All right. Oh. Okay, I think I need a bigger net. Well, I've just, um, I've just caught a reasonable sized fish here. Um, 
the, uh, boy, when they get out into that current, the fight they put up is enormous. I'll, uh, I'll get this guy out and show you. Got a few kill on him, but um, what has happened is I've been I've been working I've been working the burly and getting the burly in there for a um, couple of hours now, and um, you know I've got got I've missed a fish I've got a fish, um, and then I've had some a number of bites that I've missed, so it's been a little bit disappointing that way, but um, at least I know now that the I'm getting the fish into the area. The burly is working because I have been getting some of those um, so because I've been getting the bites. Anyway, I'll just try and get this this fish out to show you. He's um yeah I'm trying to think of how many quite heavy and very slippery in this net. Now at the moment I get him up he's gonna try and move around so there we go. Okay. Uh, probably I don't know. Four and a half, five kilos or so, um, and uh, the moment I caught him, the moment I hooked him, he, he went straight down to the current. So it makes the fight so much harder and more exciting, of course. So I'm just setting okay, up again. So what, what I did is I had a couple of hours here this morning and got a couple of fish break off. So you saw everything that was happening. I uh, had to do a bit of visiting with some of my relatives, and now I've come back again. So this is sort of uh, mid-afternoon. It's about three o'clock, three thirty and I'm going to fish over the area that I'd already burlied up and um, often that can be really productive because you've already prepared the area you might have scared a few fish away because of the activity that happened before fish fighting, being stressed, others um, notice that and then take off but when you go back of course everything's settled the burley is still there, some of it might be eaten but there's this, the, the scent, the uh, bait signatures that are still there, so the smells of food are still there, attracting those fish up, and it's had a number of hours to do it. So that can work very well. We'll just see if I can actually draw something out before I have to leave. I have another two hours probably that I can fish here, and uh, hopefully make it. I've walked away step. from my rod, and then it uh, nearly went into the drink. But um, it's not a big uh, carp. It is a carp though, but. Um, it's, uh, as I said, I've been fishing over the top of where I had uh, put the burley this morning, so um, it's certainly effective as far as just bringing those fish in. And yeah, not a, not a big fish, but yet another one removed from the waterway, so that's all right. Probably a couple of kilos, I'd say. So. There you go. Oh, it's right over where I was fishing this morning. And it'll probably be a carp, I guess. Most likely the way it's going. But at least it's a fish. Yeah, it's a carp. Okay. Um, it was right over the top of where I was fishing this morning. Okay, so that's it. Probably about, I don't know, about three kilo or so. Not a massive fish at all. Um, but, um, oh. okay, <laughs> but a little hard to handle. But the thing about these waters is that once the fish get out into that central stream, you, you, they really do give you a great fight. So it doesn't matter what it is, you get the fight. If it's an Australian native, then you've got the chance of knowing that there's good fish in the area. I mean, I usually return those just because we want to keep the numbers up. And if it's a carp, you have a chance to, to remove them from the waterway. So it's win-win, really. I've been getting hits on one of my rods, and uh, I thought it was um, yabbies, the way it was just sort of tipping down, tipping down. Anyway, um, a few of those went. I, a couple of times I checked the bait, not much missing. And then finally, you know, the same thing happened after about three times, and then uh, 
puts into this carp. So they're about, this one's not that big, um, probably about two, two and a half kilos or something like that. But um, once again, fishing over the top of the burley that I laid this morning. So this certainly works. When I give lessons, I always talk to uh, my, my students as um, being focused. You know, get rid of your phones, watch the rod, make sure that you know what's going on around you, look at the water surface, see if there's any fish movement, look if there's anything in the water there, uh, and also be very, very cognizant of any tiny movement on the end of your rod. So what do I do today? Well, I uh, take a telephone call while I'm on the phone, Rod goes over, I race over and grab it, but I've got one hand on the phone, one hand on the rod, couldn't adjust the drag, there's a big struggle at the top, fish comes to the top on its side, it's a silver perch and a nice one. Anyway, it just goes shooting down, basically breaks off, and I lost the fish. So there's a message there, and a moral. I'm not sure what they are actually, but look, don't do that, okay? Be focused, which is what I've got to do. One now, it's quite a big fish. Luckily, it's staying high in the water, but it's trying to wrap me. It'll wrap me around. There's a... Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Uh, yo, yo, yo. No, it's, i got to get it back over here. So, try and get it over. Just past this other rod. As you can see, but it's keeping high, which is good. It's got a bit of weight on it. Mm. It's got other my rod. It's over the top of another log. Well, I've got to get this back in now. Whoa, okay. And carp. And carp, yes, indeed. There we go. Boy, did that fight out of proportion to its size. It's not even that big a fish, but there you go. Well, it's got to about um, five o'clock now, and I've been here a couple of hours. I uh, unfortunately I have to have to leave. I have to visit some people, and um, I'm going to pull up stumps. Uh, the, it's it's a bit of a a pity simply because, because the way that I've prepared the area with enough burley out there, if I was to fish into just on dark, I reckon there'd be, uh, there'd be some good fish to hit here. So, um, it's not going to happen and I'll have to wait till, till next time. But anyway, if, look, if, you've, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.